Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit four, lesson nine, more and less than 1%. Problem number one, the student government snack shop sold 32 items this week. For each snack type, what percent of all snacks sold were of that type? There were a total of 32 items sold. Eight of them were fruit cups. Eight divided by 32 equals 25 hundredths, which is 25%. 25% of the items sold were fruit cups. Six of the 32 items were veggie sticks. 6 divided by 32 equals 0 0.1875, which is 18.75%. 18.75% of the 32 items sold were veggie sticks. 14 of the 32 items sold were chips. 14 divided by 32 equals 0 0.4375, which is 43.75%. 43.75% of the items sold were chips. Four of the 32 items sold were water. Four divided by 32 equals 0 0.125, which is 12.5%. 12.5% of the items sold was water. Problem number two. Select all the options that have the same value as 3.5% of 20. A. 3.5% of 20. 3.5% is the same as 3.5%, so we can select A, 3.5% of 20, because it's equal to or has the same value as 3.5% of 20. B, 3.5 of 20. That's the same as 3.5 times 20, which is not equal to 3.5% of 20, so I would not select B. 3.5 times 20 does not have the same value as 3.5% of 20. C. 35 hundredths times 20. That's equivalent to 35% of 20, not 3.5% of 20. So I would not select C. D. 0 0.035 times 20. That's equivalent to 3.5% of 20. So I would select D. E, 7% of 10. 7% of 10 is 0 0.7. And 3.5% of 20 is also 0 0.7. So I would select E. Problem number three. 22% of 65 is 14.3. What is 22.6% of 65? Explain your reasoning. Well, the only difference you'll notice is the 0.6% added to the 22%. Since 22% of 65 is 14.3, we need to add 0.6% of 65 to the 14.3. One method we can use to find the 0.6% of 65 is to find 0.1% of 65 and multiply that by 6. 0.1% of 65 is 0.065. 0 0.1% 0 times 6 is 0.6%, and 0.065 times 6 is 0.39. 14.3 plus 0.39 equals 14.69. 22.6% of 65 is 14.69. Problem number four, a bakery used 30% more sugar this month than last month. If the bakery used 560 kilograms of sugar last month, how much did it use this month? The information tells us that this month they used 30% more sugar than last month. Since they used 560 kilograms of sugar last month, we need to find 30% of 560. We can mentally find 10% of 560 and then multiply that number times 3 to find 30% of 560. I know that 10% of 560 is 56 and 3 times 56 is 168. Since they use 30% more sugar this month than last month, we need to add 168 to 560 and that equals 728. 
This month, they used 728 kilograms of sugar, which is a total of 30% more than the amount of sugar they used last month. Problem number five, match each diagram to a situation. The three diagrams can be used more than once. Situation A and diagram A match. The amount of apples this year decreased by 15% compared with last year's amount. Here's 100% of last year's amount, and below it is this year's amount, which is the same length as last year's amount, minus 15%. Diagram A also matches with situation B. The amount of pears this year is 85% of last year's amount. 100% minus 15% is 85%. So you can see that this year's amount is 100% of last year's amount minus 15%, which leaves you with 85% of last year's amount. Diagram B matches with situation C. The amount of cherries this year increased by 15% compared with last year's amount. And here you can see last year's amount represented as 100%, and below it you have 100% with 15% added on. The two white rectangles are actually supposed to be the same size because they're both supposed to represent 100% of last year. So when you add the blue 15% to the bottom rectangle, that would equal to 115% of last year's amount. Diagram B is also a match with situation D. The amount of oranges this year is 115% of last year's amount. So again, we have the rectangle on top representing last year's 100% or 100% of last year's oranges. And below it, you have a rectangle that's supposed to be the same size as the rectangle above it with an additional 15% blue colored rectangle added on. Problem number six, a certain type of car has room for four passengers. A, write an equation relating the number of cars, N, to the number of passengers, P. This information tells us that for every one car, there's four passengers. So for every one N, we'll have four times P. The equation would be N equals four P. B. How many passengers could fit in 78 cars? Since there's four passengers per car, you'd have to multiply four times 78 to find out. 312 passengers would fit in 78 cars. C, how many cars would be needed to fit 78 passengers? To figure this out, we can divide 78 by four. And 78 divided by 4 is 19.5, or 19 and a half. Since it doesn't make sense to use a half a car, it would take a total of 20 cars to fit all 78 passengers. Don't forget to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment below, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.